Hey guys, Gaming Yoshi here, and welcome back to another video. As you see, we are on Gmod right now, and as you can probably see by the annoying error above my head right there, we are going to do some G disasters today. Um, I just want to say, like, this this game or this uh, mod is not quite done yet. Uh, <laughs> the mod developers had a lot of trouble whilst making this, and they're going to still have trouble making it up to this point because they almost barely missed the deadline. Anyways, we're going to get right to the video. Um, all right. So you see here, we got ourselves. We built. I built this house, and it's actually destructible. It's not. Let me just emphasize it by saying this, and this is, can be pretty annoying. But the buildings. This is house one, and as you see this right here, indestructible. Doesn't do nothing. It's just one cyan block or one solid block. But I built this by hand. Took me about 30 minutes, but it's finally done, and we're going to use it to test out our disasters. Now, first off, we're going to go to tier one. And we've got the quicksand, which, I mean, if you guys have watched any movie, you probably know what this does. It's like, it sinks you into the ground. I don't know why I need it. You don't really need the house for that. But the dust devil, it does absolutely nothing. It's just, you know, hey, cool, we're on the prairie or something. And we see this thing going out in the field, so you're just like, hype, pipe. Small whirlpools if you're near water. Patch of ice is exactly as it says. Just a patch of ice. You run along it, you can let go, and it'll keep you moving. Now the tar pit is a little bit different, it's much bigger, and if you step in it, then you start getting killed slowly. It also has like a lava sound for some reason. Now the flash flood is the fun one. As you see, it's just slowly rising. And ignore the script errors, there's really no script errors with it, for real. And you can actually drown in this, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you could. Anyways, so we're going to get rid of the flash flood, and we're going to create a micro fire NATO, which I essentially call this, I would essentially call this an F-Zero fire NATO or a dust devil fire NATO, because it's essentially that. Locust apocalypse is exactly as it sounds. Getting infested, and honestly, that just puts tingles in my body. And then the gust NATO, we're going to get to the earthquakes last. Oh, sorry, we gotta we got put this in the path of the tornado. Let's get it out. I made a couple of the versions of this house. Alright, let's put it right there. Let's watch it. See, it doesn't really do much. It's honestly kind of weak. Typically, it would be picking blocks off of it, but as you see, it didn't. But yeah. That's it for the uh, tier two. Now we're gonna go on to tier three, which is where tornadoes actually get involved. Big whirlpools, exactly same, exactly the same. It's just bigger than the medium and way bigger than the small. Essentially, that's them in a nutshell. Now the F zero, we're gonna spawn in something for that. I have to wait for it to spawn though. And I and I will preface this by saying I love the particles. It looks so cool. Put it right there. Oh, the rope look to it is just perfect. Anyways, now we're gonna have it hit dead on in that house. As you see, nothing really much. I mean, apparently F Zero isn't very damaging, as we just got showed. Oops, wrong thing. New disasters, and then earthquakes. I'll test later. F One. Stand back a bit. Oh, yeah. We're gonna put this in the ground. Smaller than the last one, but again, there's like different particle variants. Oh, now it's getting damaged. See? Blocks are getting strewn around. I could also make it so it gets picked up, too. I mean, this thing's frozen to the ground, which is why it's not getting picked up necessarily. But that's only for realism, because higher tornadoes will do the same thing. Mini Fire Nato, this is where we'll test this out again. Stand back. This thing is essentially an EM2. So you'll see what kind of damage it does. It does a good bit of damage. It looks like, yeah. It popped off. A, it popped off a good bit of the walls and the roof. Yeah. 
So essentially, what you'd expect, I'd, I'd essentially call it an EF2 fire NATO. An EF2, yeah. And then we're gonna spawn in the thing there. If it even gets hit, yeah, it's getting somewhat hit. Spawn it a little more closer to home, though. All right, yep, it's getting picked up. As you can see. At least some of it is, yeah. Stuff's getting strewn around. And this is a cool looking tornado too. This is like one I've actually seen IRL, like in person. I don't know why it's got no particles. Or, I don't have the particles apparently. You can only have all the packs and stuff, but either way. Mystery of the day. Alright, and as you see, these tornadoes look different than what they actually do on the thing. That's because there's different variants to these tornadoes. They, they have different looks, which is actually pretty cool. So the EF3, this one might actually look much different than what you see on this picture right here that's popping up. This thing could be totally different. And it could be like, here, let's see what it looks like. Yep. On the thing, it looks more of a, uh, like a gray stovepipe, and this thing looks like a pretty decent stovepipe too, but it's a brown one, which makes it different. <laughs> Not quite different, but you know what I mean. Oops, wrong. I actually clicked the E, the Z button twice. Spawned it on the ground. My bad guys, I'm pro this probably this is going to be probably bigger than, or longer than 20 minutes. I hope it's not very much. Oh yeah, see, the last one was a little more, this one's a little more skinnier and actually has more of like a cloud appearance to it. More of a rotational factor to it, it looks like. But yeah, let's see what kind of damage this thing does. Oh, wrong camera. But actually, this looks pretty cool skip potential here anyways and yes guys I will definitely make more videos concerning this oh there you go see it hadn't even been like five seconds and it's stop missing there we go look at that see that guys and it's gone but you can definitely tell it was sucked up oh yeah look at that damage Yeah, look at that damage, though. Oh, it's coming right back this way, too. Oh, there we go. Now the EF4. Oh, we got tsunamis. That's right. I forgot about that. So this is where I'm going to get this big building in here. Then we're going to spawn in the tsunami. I might cover earthquakes in a later video, but we're going to do, like, the big stuff today. See, there's the tsunami over there. Just about as tall as the thing up there. Yeah, it's about as tall as that. So the tsunami is not very big, but I think there's more variants of this as well. As you see, it slows down a bit the more it goes in, and also it takes more of a uh, wall shape. Look at that! Wow, that is awesome. Again, I see skip potential with this. <laughs> This is very good. I actually like this thus far. There's not a lot of features yet. The weather is still work in progress. Weapons and ammo is still work in progress. But, again, that's what I said. The developer being kind of absent recently. And there's a new one, I'm pretty sure, for the moment. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's see this thing get ripped in half. See, like I said, I made it pretty bit destructible. And, yep, it's pretty, uh... Yeah, it's almost gone, but I think that's just because it was on the edge. It wasn't actually getting hit by it. That's where we'll do this. Ah, dang it. Didn't mean to do that. I think this is, you guys think this is crazy? I think we're at tier 9. No, we're at tier 7 right now. Tier 8 is, of course, this. Earthquakes we're doing later. And ELE which I've seen a lot of people get this confused. It means extinction level event. That's what ELE means. Oh, this is a multi vortex. This is oof. This makes it much easier to see our building get wrecked. And the tornado's like white. It's like Eli Manitoba over here. Are you kidding me? It keeps missing. I, I, am I you saying that I'm a bad aim or I'm just not seeing these tornadoes do? Oh. 
That might be. No, wait, that's still outside the map. Oh. Wrong thing, my guys. Ah, oh, my goodness, I could not hit this there. That might be good. No, what? These tornadoes are literally screwing me right now. Do you guys see this crap? Also, as you can also see, the tornado is literally transforming while it's on the move. So these tornadoes also evolve in a way. Oh, that was going to hit. Well, somewhat at least. As you see, the tornado is literally swallowing the building right now. Yep. It also glitches out. I'm kind of confused by that. Oh, yep. This thing's almost pretty much... That's essentially flattened. Now, we're going to do Big Daddy Mama here. We're going to go to the smaller building, though. We're going to go EF5 right now. This thing is so loud. And what the... Oh. Oh. So this is a dusty one. I've never seen this before. This is interesting. This almost reminds me of, like, a... I wish I didn't hit the stupid errors up there, but, again, not much I can really do about it. Alright. But since the tornado move, um, essentially moved out of the way of it, we're going to put this right here. And we already know it's EF5. We already know what kind of damage we're going to be seeing here. Yep, look at it. It's getting essentially shrecked right now. Yeah. It, didn't, it got clipped, so don't expect much. We already know what that's going to do. Now, here's the big kicker. EF5 tornado, essentially. This is essentially an EF5 tornado. I had to spawn it so far because it literally is almighty king right here. See? That place, non-existent. It literally just got wiped off the map there. And the Mega Tsunami, you can guess just as much. It is essentially the Deep Impact Meteor, which is, I think, what the ELE is a, res is a reference to Deep Impact, and the Tsunami would definitely make sense with such. Let's see, boom. And there you go, guys. That's essentially the mod. Equipment is basically the Dorothy probe, which is actually pretty cool. You can put these little, the little probes from... Uh, twister in there. It'd be a nice day at a Titus, just for wink, wink. And they also have a Doppler radar, which you essentially just have, let's just say you have a tornado over here somewhere, we'll just EF0. What you do is you click E on it, and there's literally a radar showing the tornado right there. I don't think this is necessarily uh, directional. And also, as you see, we also got here. That's pretty cool. But yeah, that's it pretty much with that. Generic Tornado Sirens. It's essentially the Tornado Siren from GMSC Maps, and that's all it really is. But it gets activated by G Disaster Tornadoes instead of GMSC Map Tornadoes. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much the video. I will make another video later on considering concerning earthquakes and stuff, because those will definitely be a skit, like, for reals. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you like this video. And, yeah, see you guys later. Peace.